In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the Garmin Live Scope on a Garmin EcoMap system. To begin with, I'll just walk you through it right here on the screen so you can see how I do it. And then at the end of this video, I'll leave a detailed step-by-step. -step. That way, if you need to slow it down, you'll have that too. Now, the first thing you're going to need is an SD card. I use a 32 gigabyte SD card, and all I do with that card is updates. So I have a specific card just for updates. First thing you're going to want to do here, get on Google, type in Garmin Live Scope Update. Click on that. Make sure you're on the Garmin website. It'll bring you to the download page. Now I've got an EcoMap system, so that's what I'm going to click here. And it's going to take me here to where I can download this file if I'm working off a of PC. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click down here on the Mac link and it'll take me to another download and this is the one I'm going to use. So I click right here and it starts to download. Now on a Mac it's going to take it to a folder and I'm going to have to drag this folder over to my SD card. If you're working on a PC you may can save this straight to your SD card as you download it. Now once it's downloaded you'll see this one folder and inside it you'll see these two files. Now you're going to want to power on your unit Put your SD card in and it will automatically pop up a screen right here. You'll see this screen right here where it says software update down at the bottom. You're going to click on that and it's going to ask you if you have time to let this continue. So go ahead and say yes because you don't want to interrupt it and it'll start this software updater here. Now this takes about three minutes or so to load. It's going to take you to a software loading screen and it's going to sit here for about three more minutes. So don't, don't stop it during that time. Now it's going to go back here to the software updater and load again. Another three minutes or so. And here you go. Update complete. Select OK to restart device. So now you'll restart your depth finder and it'll take a little bit to bring it back up because it's got to run all those updates and everything. Once you get this loaded, you're going to go into Panoptics mode. Now when you get to Panoptics, you're going to see Sonar Setup and click that. Then you're going to go to Installation. You're going to go to Orientation. Now auto works, but only if it's in the water. So you can go here and click perspective if you don't have it in the water. And that's all there is to it. There's the perspective mode. So you're set up. All these updates will work the same way with the SD card for your Garmin EchoMap unit. Just download that on your computer, put it on your SD card, pop it into your unit, and it'll, it'll pretty much take it from there. You hit a few buttons and you're updated. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and until next time, go fish.